Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. So I thought I would do something a little bit different today and I am going to share with you guys products that I keep repurchasing over and over and over again. I kind of was thinking about that I was a, as I was buying things and old favorites and I thought, you know, I should share with you guys what I always buy over and over. I kind of mention a lot of them in my empties videos, but there are some standouts that I have been using for 10 years at least and a lot of them are drugstore which is um kind of surprising to me as well because I do tend to go for a lot of Lux um, high-end things but I do actually um, use a lot of drugstore things and I rebuy them over and over again so I obviously really like them. So let's get started. I've kind of broken them up in skincare, body, hair and I have a tiny little bit of makeup so let's get started. So the first one is probably the oldest and it is this Neo Strata line. Um, it is the one that is for oily skin. This one is the glycolic renewal um, uh, face cream and this is the toner and probably out of the entire line the toner is what I use the most. I've been using this since I was probably 18. I have had acne and cystic acne for as long as I can remember and I still have it. Um, I'm, I don't know what it's from this time but anyway I like to always use these products from Neostrata and I have mentioned in a lot of my empties videos that they just keep changing their brand, changing the formula, changing the products, changing the names and I guess yeah over 20 plus years I can't imagine them doing that but they've been doing it a lot this past year. Um, I did just order from Shoppers Drug Mart the cleanser. Um, I finished the cleanser about six months ago and they didn't make the same one again. So I've ordered one slightly different and I'm hoping that it's kind of the same thing. We'll, we'll have to see. But the Neostrata Acne line is amazing. I use the one that's for with glycolic acid. They do have a line that has salicylic, but I find glycolic acid works the best for my skin. So I always have that toner on hand and it really, really helps with my skin. The next thing is a Shiseido Eye cream duo. Now this is a serum. It is the Ultimune um, Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. So it's kind of a serum. Well, it is a serum. And I put this on first and then I go on top. Um, this is just a sample size. Normally it's in a little pink pot and it is the Wrinkle 20, Wrinkle Release 24 something. I'll put the name. It's a really long, crazy name. Um, I have repurchased this a million times. These two as a combo are fantastic. I've mentioned to you guys, if um, you're not f familiar, I don't like things that are like deep puffing because they kind of tighten around here and that's not what I want because then it makes my under eyes really puckered. I want them plump and lifted and I find these products really help with that. So I use that at night. I am currently using um, this with the um, Bobbi Brown Repair and I love that as well. But I just wanted to mention this Shiseido one because I have repurchased both of those items about five times each. So I do really, really enjoy them. Um, this one I'm almost finished um, and I will probably repurchase that one because I do really enjoy it. And every time I run out and don't buy it again, I miss it. So I probably will splurge. The next one um, I have been using um, probably since 2008 and it was recommended by my dermatologist and it is the Aubergy New Derm line. Now I've kind of given my skin a break from it for a while. I've just been rotating, trying new things. I've been using Sunday Riley and Drunk Elephant from Sephora but I think when I'm finished those I am going to go back to using the full line of Aubergy New Derm in hopes that that will help a bit with these cysts. Um, in particular this product which is called the Exfoderm which is a um, chemical exfoliant. There is also a cream called Clear that is supposed to help with sun damage and scarring and then another product that I would use at night which is called Blender and I would mix that with my Retin-A products. Now I was prescribed this by a dermatologist so I don't suggest you just running out and buying this. You need to have um, 
you know, some advice from a dermatologist. I did buy it from my mom without that advice and I gave it to her and she has rosacea and she had um, a lot of sensitivity to it. So for me personally, it works really well. So maybe if you do have a dermatologist or Medispa that you go to, maybe ask them if it would be something that would work for you because I absolutely love it and I'm definitely gonna go back to it once I complete these other products. I kind of got sucked into Sephora and trying them, but I think I need to use more... Um, doctor recommended products, especially because I keep getting these reoccurring cysts. Another line that I've been using from Sephora for many, many years, um, I just love it as a serum and a daytime moisturizer is this Ola Henriksen Truth line. This I just finished and I'm so sad because they don't make it anymore. This is the um, Truth Advanced Moisturizing Cream. They've now changed it. It has like a picture of a slice of an orange on it now. I can't remember the actual name. I'll put it here. They have reformulated. It's not the same as this. So I don't know what I'm going to do because now I've finished this and they don't make it anymore. It's discontinued. So I'm kind of sad about that. This has always been um, in my cupboard on repeat it is the truth serum currently I'm using the one from Tarte um, I just wanted to try it out but I always kind of go back to this one it is such a nice uh, serum that just gives a lot of brightness to your skin a lot of dewy glow I really really enjoy it and I've bought that about 50 million times as well and if you're lucky you might find it at Marshall's because they have been reform repackaging a lot of their products so sometimes you might find ones for with their old packaging and that's always a score so this one is a drugstore and I love it, love it, love it, love it. It is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I absolutely love this. I always have one in my shower. It is such a neat moisturizer that you put on in the shower. I know it sounds kind of strange. You put it on while you're in the shower and you're still wet and then you get out of the shower and towel off and my skin is so dewy and soft. I love the scent. I always buy the coconut oil one. My mom gets the Argon. She prefers that one, but I like the coconut. I have tried it with the self tan, but because you're not so precise with your application, you're kind of putting it on when your skin is wet. I found that when it um, activated the tan, I had like dripping <laughs> marks, especially around my ankles and things. So I, I didn't really care for the tan one. So I really like that one. I always have it in my shower. It's also great to use as a shaving lotion. It's fantastic. So this one is also on repeat in my cupboard and that is the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan. I often get compliments on the color of my tan. Um, I'm kind of an olive tone so I have to use um, self tanners that are olive. I've tried like the Vita Liberata and that has more of a red tone to it which doesn't work with my skin tone. This one works beautifully. What I love about this is a clear lotion. So just like a white body lotion that just soaks into your skin. It doesn't leave any residue or color or shimmer or shine, nothing. And so you can put on clothes with no transfer and it is a gradual tan. So you don't have that immediate dark brown tan but at least I use it like every second day and I just kind of keeps up a nice little bit of color for myself. I used to only use it in the summer just to maintain my my mousse bronzer, my mousse self tan, which is also by Saint Tropez. But I found that is such a big ordeal to prep for that. You've got to do a scrub and then you apply the mousse and then you got to shower it off because it leaves a color. So I've kind of put that on the back burner for now and I just use this one every second day like I mentioned and it just keeps my skin just like a little bit of a bronzy glow to it which I really enjoy and I love the color. Um, there is a tiny bit of a, an activating scent, you know, that kind of weird funky burnt skin <laughs> smell um, but nowhere near as bad as some of the other brands that I've tried. It's probably the least of them all. And last of the skincare is these simple wipes. These are the simple cleansing wipes, just the basic ones. There's all different ones. There's micellar water, there's exfoliating, all kinds of things. But I like just the original um, green ones. They're very inexpensive. You get them from drugstore and they don't burn. I've used so many wipes and I just assume that they're supposed to burn and then um, another YouTuber mentioned she was using these and she used the word it doesn't burn. I thought oh okay I'm gonna try that and now that is the only brand I ever buy and they often are on sale with good deals at Walmart and stuff like that so I always have those on hand. And now on to body products. 
This has been in my empties a million times. Both hubby and I use it. It is the Sol de Janeiro Samba Foot Cream. It smells just like the Bum Bum Cream. So if you like that scent, you're gonna love it. And it gives off so much scent, even though it is just a foot cream, you can still smell it. Um, it is, it penetrates your skin so, so quickly so you don't have greasy feet. Um, I have hardwood floors, so the last thing I want is to put on a foot lotion, then you've got greasy footprints all over the house. So it doesn't do that at all. My husband and I both use it and absolutely love it. And I've um, been going through a lot more of it lately because now it's kind of sandal weather, so we want our feet to look nice and moisturized. Another thing that I've been using since I was a teenager and that is Body Shop Body Butters. I love these. They're very inexpensive. You can always get good deals at Body Shop. They've always got some kind of deal going on. They have so many different scents for every person, whatever your tastes are. They have floral, uh, you nuts and fruit and rose you know just everything you can possibly think of and they even have unscented if you don't like scents they just are so moisturizing i love taking these when we go on tropical holidays to keep my skin nice and moisturized like whenever we go to hawaii i always take the coconut one with me and it is such a treat to use when i'm there and then my skin tastes nice and hydrated i don't have that crocodile scaling on my um cat on my shins like i normally do I have had a few that have gone rancid on me even when they're brand new so you kind of have to watch for that. I don't know if it's just old stock or maybe just certain scents go off really quickly. I don't know but I always have a body shop body butter on hand because they are fabulous. Now this particular product I don't have with me um, but I just brought down this to remind me to talk about it and it is the Bath and Body Works Beach the sand scrub. Now I don't have any of it because it is a seasonal product and I always stock up on it but I never seem to be able to buy and I always forget to buy enough to last me the whole year because it is probably my all-time favorite body scrub. I love um, sand ones because the sugar scrubs and the salt scrubs, I find as soon as they get wet in the shower, then the um, scrub dissolves. So it doesn't really scrub enough. I've used coffee scrubs. They're just not, just not right. Whereas this sand scrub, I just find is the most gritty and it just sloughs my skin so beautifully. And I love this at the beach scent. It is such a nice summertime scent. As you can see, I wear this body spray a lot. I really, really enjoy it, but it is the actual sand scrub that is my all time favorite. And I have bought so many and I will buy another one probably very soon because I'm sure they've launched that again for the summer. So I absolutely love it and I highly, highly recommend it. But just on a side note, it does mess up your shower. Um, every time I use it, my husband gets in and he's like, what is going on in here? It looks like you've been to the beach that day. It's even though I rinse and clean, it, it takes a while to get it all up and out of the shower. So anyway, just keep that in mind. So now on to hair. This is from Bumble and Bumble. I have been using this thickening line for eons the shampoo the conditioner this spray now it's called a thickening hairspray but it's actually you use it when your hair is wet and it is when you're styling your hair blow drying your hair it's not a hairspray that when you styled your hair and then sprayed a hold it's more of a styling product but i have used all of that line and i absolutely love the entire line and right now this is the only product i have on hand because i actually am just getting a little bit tired of it because I'm always trying to try, wanting to try new things, and I'm not crazy about the smell, but even though I've been trying a lot of new products, I still always think, you know what, I prefer my Bumble and Bumble thickening. Um, it just gives my hair so much volume. It's really good for my hair. It's shiny and healthy, and I just really, really enjoy it. And this is a really great volumizing and thickening product for styling. Now this one is a drugstore. Um, I bought this actually at Winners and it is the Batiste XXL Dry Shampoo. It has to be the XXL because it gives so much volume to my hair. I love it. 
I love the smell. I know a lot of people don't like this because it does leave a white film, but I personally like that because it covers up my roots. <laughs> um, but people who have dark hair would not enjoy that at all, and I totally understand that. But if you're blonde like me and you have roots, this is a really nice, <laughs> a really good dry shampoo to try. It also soaks up so much of the oil and it leaves a lot of um, product in your hair, so it just gives so much volume and lift. I don't have it in right now, but it just gives my hair so much volume. But I do try to use it only on the day that I know I'm gonna shampoo, like this is the last day I'm gonna get out of having my hair styled because it, like I said, it does leave a lot of powder so you have to wash it um, the very next day because it's just too much. Now another dry shampoo that's all, these two are my all time favorites and this one also is drugstores and it's very easily accessible and it's very inexpensive. This one is the Detox Dry Bar um, sham Dry Shampoo and same thing, a lot of people don't like it because it does leave that white cast, but I personally like that. Um, and it is an amazing shampoo that soaks up so much of the oils and it gives my hair so much volume and it doesn't leave as much residue as this one. Um, so I do kind of like this one a little bit more, but this one is about a quarter of the price. So I, I keep repurchasing this one and this one I just happen to have because um, I bought one of those Sephora favorites kits. So I'm hanging on to this one for travel. I don't have a full size at the moment, but I've bought about 50 of them because it is my favorite um, dry shampoo. So those two are definitely my favorite. If I had a choice, I like this one the most, but this one's a little bit more expensive and this one, the Batiste one is fabulous. So here's some kind of makeup-y and a little bit of miscellaneous. This one is a brush cleaner and it is a Canadian company called Ativo. They are vegan, um, cruelty-free, fantastic uh, brush shampoo. I actually got it originally from a Simply Beautiful um, subscription box and since I got it I've bought it about 10 times because it is my favorite product. So you get this much, this size tub and it is the same price as the eeny tiny uh, little uh, beauty blender one. So this is a no-brainer to me to just keep repurchasing this one. I absolutely love it. It cleans my brushes beautifully and way more inexpensive than the um, uh, Beauty Blender one. Sorry, I'm lost in thought. This is a nail polish from Essie. Um, I'm not highlighting this particular uh, nail polish. I'm just saying Essie nail polishes are my favorite. I'm wearing Essie right now. They are just fabulous. I have about I don't even want to tell you how many I have. I've got a million of them and they are my favorite polishes. They last a long time. They come out with really, really fun colors for the seasons. I've been super, super happy. I also really like the Treat Love Repair. I can't remember the exact name. I'll link it here. Those ones are fantastic too because they treat your nails while you're wearing them. Really, really love Essie. Just love their nail polishes. And like I said, I've got a million of them. This is a chapstick, it's from Nivea. I love this. I've tried so many chapsticks, you know, expensive ones from Sephora and Balms and all, you name it. I am allergic to a lot of them as well. Um, this one I've had, I've been using this since my teens, I believe, and I always have one on hand. I wear it a lot um, before bed. I wear it in the morning when I get up before I get ready and before I do my makeup. I just have this on. I love having lip balms and I have them all over the house. And this one is definitely my favorite and I've probably bought a hundred in my lifetime and I will continue to. It's just a really nice lip balm and very, very inexpensive. Now, lastly, two little makeup things. Um, I don't go through enough of my makeup to keep repurchasing. Um, but one of the things that I have repurchased over and over is this Benefit Brow Gel. It is a clear gel that I just, um, once I set put the color in my brows and I just use this to set them and comb them in place and it is like cement. They will not move. They just stay in place because my eyebrow hairs are quite long so sometimes they're all falling down and this just holds them. It's kind of like hairspray and really, really love it. I've bought it a million times and I will. Con I haven't used anything better. I've even used the Anastasia one and I still think this one's much better. And last but not least, my favorite mascara that I've bought a million times is the It Cosmetics Super Hero. Just love this stuff. It doesn't flake. It gives tons of volume. It grabs every single lash. It doesn't transfer. It's just 
amazing. The only negative I have with it, it doesn't play well in hot weather. When it's warm weather, it melts. So that is the only um, downside. So I'm trying to find a mascara that I can wear in the winter or when I go on tropical uh, vacations because this one just, it just can't handle heat but in the winter months it is perfect and I've bought many many tubes of this and I will continue to it's definitely my all-time favorite mascara at this stage so anyway that concludes my most purchased um, items if you have anything you want to recommend to me I'd love to hear about it so comment below if there's something you've bought a million times and think I should try then please let me know. I always find some great ideas from you guys, so I really appreciate that. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!